Inopolis is a satellite city located in the Verkhnyslansky district of the Republic of Tatarstan, 40 kilometers from Kazan, at the confluence of two rivers, the Volga and the Svyaga, until recently it was the smallest city in Russia by population. Inopolis was built from scratch, in an open field. The idea of creating an innovation center in the suburbs of Kazan was first voiced by Tatarstan President Rustam Minikhanov in the 2010 year. The project with the working name of the IT village assumed the construction of a settlement with office buildings, residential buildings, sports, youth and educational infrastructure, designed to accommodate 50,000 people. The idea was approved by the government and in the 2011 year the contract for the development of the master plan was awarded to the Singapore Architectural and Planning Bureau under the leadership of the former chief architect of Singapore, Leo Tyker. In the year 2012, Leo Tyker visited Kazan for the presentation of the master plan. The first stage of construction started in the same year. In April, 2000 of the 13th year, the new settlement was named Annapolis, and from the 1st of January, 2000 of the 15th year, it was given the status of a city. Annapolis was officially opened on the 9th of June, 2015, three years after its foundation. By this time, the first stage of construction was nearing completion, investments in which were estimated at 26 billion rubles. The construction of the Techno Park building, sports complex, university building, student campus, residential buildings and engineering infrastructure has been completed. Inopolis is the first Russian city for IT specialists. Together with Skolkovo near Moscow and Novosibirsk, Koltsovo is one of three science cities in Russia created for the development of information and innovative high technologies. So far, the area of the city is only 12 square kilometers, and the population is 3,800 people. The main object of the city is private universities on a policy that trains specialists in the field of IT technologies and robotics. Tuition is paid, but some students receive a scholarship covering the cost of tuition. Also, a special economic zone was created in the city to attract investment and develop IT technologies in the region. What is the attraction of the special economic zone? Its residents receive benefits on income taxes, transport, property, land and insurance premiums. For example, in the 2020th year, local companies applying a simplified taxation system paid tax only 1% of total income. To date, about 130 companies work in the monopoly, providing almost 1,500 jobs. Among the residents and partners there are also very large ones, for example, Yandex, MTS, Alphabank, Spurbank, Tinkoff, Rosatom, Magnet and so on. As of December of the 20th year, residents and partners of the Annapolis Special Economic Zone invested more than 26.5 billion rubles. Since 2000 of the 19th year, a simplified procedure for obtaining startup status has been in effect. Companies are provided with a package of special services and services for business development. Today there is a Popov Technopark in Annapolis. The second Lobachevsky Technopark is being completed. Medical Center Universities on a policy. University residential complex for students. A sports complex with an excellent swimming pool and gym. Apartment buildings, a school, a kindergarten and the construction of a new Zion residential complex is underway. However, 
there are few shops and entertainment is very tight. Innopolis is a city for study, work and a quiet, peaceful life. If I may say so, the city is for nerds. There are very few people on the streets, sometimes it felt like the city was completely empty. I was surprised that in such a small city, in which there is practically no automobile traffic, for some reason they made several underground pedestrian crossings intended rather for large cities with busy traffic. They look absolutely strange and out of place here. It was more logical to make land crossings, they are more convenient and much cheaper. The architecture is bright and unusual. The whole appearance of the city translates that technology and the future are born here. In general, if you are a programmer, techies, you understand that these areas are your poems, and the lack of entertainment and parties does not frighten you, then you should take a closer look at Annapolis. The city is just beginning its development, new facilities are being built and who knows what it will be like in a few years. And with the growth of the population, there will be shops and entertainment. It's only a matter of time. By the way, last year, in order to attract catering organizations, pharmacies, leisure facilities and retail stores to the city, the administration offered tenants 10,000 square meters of commercial real estate on the first floors of residential buildings at a monthly rate of only 100 rubles per square meter. That is, renting a room of 50 square meters will cost you only 5,000 rubles a month. Guys, those who know how much it costs to rent commercial real estate now, do you understand, yes, how cheap is it? Of the advantages of the city, it is also worth noting that here you will not meet homeless people, Gopnik and other antisocial personalities. The main part of the population is educated people who came here to work and develop. Another plus of this place is the nature around Annapolis. She is very beautiful. The panorama is magnificent. Forests and fields stretching to the horizon. The Volga and Sviaga rivers flow very close to the city. Also not far from Annapolis there is an ancient island, the city of Sviazk, founded in the 16th century. There is another interesting thing in Annapolis, this is an unmanned taxi, which was launched by Yandex in the 2018th year. There are several pick-up and drop-off points in the test area. They are located near key urban facilities. An unmanned taxi operates in Annapolis daily. In fairness, it should be noted that the taxi is not completely unmanned. Yes, the car is driving itself, but there is always a test engineer in the front passenger seat. He controls the operation of the car's systems and ensures that the trip takes place in normal mode. We really wanted to ride this taxi, but, unfortunately, it's impossible to call it just like that. And we found out about it already on the spot. In order to ride this miracle of technology, you need to apply to the concierge service for a policy on the official website of the city in advance. After submitting an application and specifying your data in it, the phone number linked to the Yandex taxi application, you will have to wait about 24 hours. Applications are usually processed in about this time. After your application is approved, in your Yandex application, taxi will be able to call a drone and ride on it in a foreign city. How to get to Annapolis If you do not have a car, then you can get from Kazan to Annapolis by bus, which runs daily, about once an hour, from the Health Combine stop in the center of Kazan to Annapolis. The buses are comfortable, tourist, the trip will take about one hour. The fare by bank card is 100 rubles, in cash 150. With the exception of some shortcomings, Annapolis left a pleasant impression. The city is unique in its own way. Besides, this is something new for our country, and new things are always interesting.